Hi, I'm Al Pajak, and I'm here to talk to you today about portraiture, a method of research. Portraiture allows the researcher to become part of the story. In a way, I think it makes the researcher a little more honest. By admitting that your presence impacts the story, you become part of that story. Ethnographers listen to a story, while portraitists listen for a story. Sarah Lawrence Lightfoot comments that the artist needs to be vigilant in capturing the image but always watchful of feelings, perspective, and experience. She admits that portraits express a haunting paradox of a moment in time and of timelessness. With portraiture, the person of the researcher, even vigorously controlled, is more evident and more visible than any other form of research. The researcher in portraiture acknowledges that they are part of the picture and influence the story. In the process of creating portraits, we enter the lives of people, build relationships, engage in discourse, make an imprint, and then leave. In a way, it's the people's scholarship, a scholarship in which scientific facts gathered in the field give voice to a people's experience. A persistent irony is recognized that as one moves closer to the unique characteristics of a person or place, one discovers the universal. In Reflections on Portraiture, Dialogue Between Art and Science, Sarah Lawrence Lightfoot describes a time when she had her portrait painted and discovered nuances about herself that revealed universal characteristics. I see this as a strength of portraiture, that it allows us to describe and find detail, and be part of the story, and share our experience. I think portraiture is a powerful way to relate experiences from one group to another by using stories and building a portrait of a group of people. I also had a little fun with this. I used an app called Masterpiece Me, which allows you to insert your face into famous pictures. I hope you enjoyed that part too. And I made myself part of the portraits. I look forward to your comments. Thank you.